Hi, welcome to our Goldmark Roundup. We thought we'd take a review of the year, have a look at what's happened over the last 12 months, and give you a little sneak peek preview of what's to come in the new year ahead. We've welcomed some wonderful guests over the last 12 months, whether it was Reverend Richard Coles opening Phil Rogers' ceramics exhibition and talking about the joys of collecting ceramics. Well, Mel Gooding, an acclaimed art historian, came and gave us a, a wonderful lesson on the paintings of Kerry Richards. And we were delighted to welcome Ralph Steadman, who came and opened our fantastic exhibition of critical critters prints that were made in the nearby Goldmark Atelier. Ralph was launching his new book with Kerry Levy and was even kind enough to sign the walls for us. We've had two world-class performances here in the Goldmark front room from renowned composer Gavin Bryars, who brought two newly arranged chamber versions of his most iconic pieces, The Sinking of the Titanic and Jesus' Blood Never Failed Me Yet. We also had the wonderful saxophonist Ian Bellamy, who returned to the Goldmark front room with the celebrated jazz pianist Gareth Williams. The pair of them were celebrating the wonderful jazz legacy of Bill Evans. Unfortunately, we've had to say goodbye to a number of really fantastic works at the gallery, from two wonderful Lynn Chadwick sculptures uh, to paintings by the likes of Anthony Gross, Alan Davey, Edward Middleditch, George Chapman, Roderick Barrett, Francis Davison, Lynn Rosamond, and some lovely big pieces by Christopher P. Wood. In our ceramics department, two wonderful 80 Grinomi sets by Phil Rogers have found new homes, as well as two enormous wood-fired dishes by Nick Collins, and a number of really fantastic world-class pieces by Lee Kang Hyo. We've also been lucky enough to welcome some fantastic new things to the gallery, uh, from the particularly scarce L.S. Lowry's Punch and Judy scene school print to a magnificent flurry of new Joe Tilson constructions. We're delighted to announce that we've managed to raise over £50,000 for Coventry Cathedral through sales of our two John Piper prints. It's a fantastic amount of money to go to the cathedral. There's still plenty of prints left if you'd like to help out. Over on our Discover site, almost 100,000 of you have been reading and sharing our articles across the year. And a new 2,000 people have joined us on social media. Welcome. We hope you enjoy what we've been putting up and we look forward to some lovely new things in the next year. We've also published four issues of our quarterly magazine, culminating in winter, which will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I think you'll really enjoy some of the lovely articles and features in this upcoming publication. Across the year, we get a lot of lovely comments from customers and visitors to the gallery. We thought we'd just share with you some of the interesting experiences that people have had here. It's been a bumper year for exhibitions here at Goldmark. In the last 12 months, we've had no fewer than five ceramics shows with Phil Rogers, five fantastic up-and-coming Mashiko potters picked by Ken Matsuzaki. We had the wonderful wood-firing potter Nick Collins, some fantastic pots by Lee Kang Hyo, and a wonderful inaugural Walter Keeler show here in November. We've also got some great shows in the upcoming year, a fantastic exhibition of Sonia Delaunay's works, a book launch of a new John Piper book by Aud Levinson, a ceramic show from Takashi Yasuda, and we've also got a lovely show of David Suff's work in the year ahead. And we're also excited to announce that in the new year, we've got a new venture called We Love Clay. Keep your eye out for more news on that coming soon. We hope you've enjoyed 2017 as much as we have, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year.